What happens if I poop in the airport and hide it in a briefcase? Hi, you're watching Two Dumb Guys. I'm Brian. This is Ed. Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 What are we going to talk about? Yeah, that's the qu that works as for a question of... Of, of words put together with the punctuation at the end. I feel like it's time to revisit uh, one of my favorite things on the internet. One of the most ridiculous things on the internet. Yeah. Yahoo Answers. Yahoo Answers is solid. Yeah. Here you go. You ready? Yeah. We, in. These people really need our help. So Okay. Well, we're going to help you. Here's the first one. How do, we, how do we come to a conclusion of ultimate truth? Hmm. High protein diet. Okay. Frequent masturbation. Okay. Meditation. I think that's it. I think that might work. I, I just that this is just off the top or, of my skull. Or we just we ditch the high protein diet and okay. the meditation and just frequent masturbation. Yeah, I think it'll get you there. It's, you're, yeah, you're I mean, gonna yeah. you're getting there. You're gonna need some. Uh, you're gonna need you a get, lot of vitamin E. You're gonna. E <laughs> okay, so some vitamin E supplements. We're, yeah. we're going to back this up. No okay. high protein diet. Vitamin E supplements. At least, like, I don't know, a couple pallets of Jergens or yeah. your lotion of preference. Yeah, or or lube. And then, yeah, 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 there you go. You can do that too. <laughs> and then you just you just jerk it or, you know, rub it, whatever, whatever, you know, works for you. There you go. Masturbate. You're on your way. That's going to bring, what, what, what were they trying to solve? The, because uh, I just think that'll solve anything. Yeah, the conclusion of ultimate truth. Yeah, that's 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 too heavy, man. That's way too heavy of, of a question to be asking the internet. <laughs> the internet does not know. We but, know. But I'm just saying that jerking it will, will solve all your problems. Yeah. Oh, Tammy down the hall doesn't like me. Tammy from accounting has got a problem with me. Jerk it. You'll be yeah. fine. Go into your own space and jerk it. Or just in the middle of the office. You'll probably get fired, <laughs> oh, but, yeah. and you'll have to register as a sex offender, oh, yeah. maybe go door to door. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> just say no to RSO. Uh, <laughs> I got toothpaste all over my face and in my eyes, question mark. Am I going to be okay? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. Probably not, but yes. <laughs> maybe, but no. Uh, can Okay, this is a great one. <clears throat> Can I make... I'm going to read this the way it's written. Okay. Can I make my booby larger using a lint roller? If you figure this out, <laughs> let us know because you're going to be... You're, well, about, you're about to be a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Well, let us know and we'll we'll take care of that. We don't want to... You know, being a billionaire, that's a lot of stress to handle. We'll take care of that part. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Just... just we'll, we'll cut you in. We'll make sure you're taken care of, but... If you can figure out how to make your boot, do you just have one? I just mean, if, one. You, if you just have one, that's cool. I'm not like not talking about that. I mean, maybe but, she only wants one bigger. Maybe one is already bigger than the other yeah. one, and she wants to balance it out without <laughs> going common. to a crazy surgical option. Yeah, yeah. Because she's got problems buying bras right yeah. now with one cup size different. I yeah. mean, she's she's a, she's in a rough spot. So but how how with a lint roller? What is it? Is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, Are you sticking the lint roller underneath to perk it up? Like, I mean, I'm not thing? sure. You know, I mean, this maybe it involves somehow making the pectoral muscle underneath the booby bigger, so yeah. the booby itself sticks out farther. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, so I don't know. I, I don't know how you're going to do this, but if you figure it out, give us a call. Yeah, you're awesome. Figure it out. Give us a call. Just call the operator. Tell like, her, tell her who you want. Yeah, two dumb guys. It's just It'll like the mail. To, exactly. Yeah. It'll get here. Just you pick the the, the earpiece off the phone, yeah. and then you click the the thing a couple of times, and you say, "Operator, give me two dumb guys," and she'll she'll connect you. Yeah, just immediately. Unless it's Rebecca. Yeah. No, Rebecca's an. <laughs> she won't connect you. Rebecca, Jesus! You know what you did. <laughs> you know what you did, Rebecca. Is YouTube? considered a radio station no 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 can why? you turn it in on the radio no you can't why do you think this is this some sort of fcc legal question that you actually have that is there a different are you asking one question to avoid asking the question you want to ask 
Is this an avoidance issue? No, YouTube is not a radio station. No. Station. Station. No, it's not like iHeartRadio. There are consonants in that word. I just wasn't saying them. Well, yeah. It was all of them, at least. Uh, can I fix my car's bumper with bubble gum? Depends on the damage. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you just got a little ding in there, you'll put some bubble gum in, you let it dry out and get really hard, then you repaint, you're fine. Yeah. But I mean, if it's broken in half now. Is it for a that bumper you need car? Duct tape. A bumper car. Yeah. Well, no. No, I, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here, I realize. I, I know there's no I'm logical waiting. reason to assume it's a bumper car. I'm curious. But you said bumper as opposed to fender. And just in, I think that's a regional dialect thing, or maybe that's technically two different things. I always think fender. I don't really, and I think maybe a fender is more if you have one that's like an attached piece, whereas my bumpers are just built into the frame of the car. <laughs> and it depends on the type of car. I think most modern sedans are like that, where it's just Pretty like sure the fender of the frame. just goes over the wheel. Is that the fender? I thought the fender was like the like old school metal bumpers. I have no, I don't know I don't about, know. I don't know from cars. What is your bumper? Wait, just fix your bumper take it to the shop they'll take do it, it. The they'll put bubble gum on it it's okay <laughs> yeah. don't worry about it they'll put, take care of you put it in the shade of a tree put some bubble <clears throat> gum on it <laughs> in the shade of a tree N okay this one's uh an interesting one okay now that mcdonald no a now that mcdonald told me that their mccafe machine is down twice in the twice in a row are they lying or no they're lying to you they're I, not they're, lying. they don't like you and they don't want you drinking coffee. I mean, do you think that's it? What? Do you think I, that's I think it? they're like, lying to them. You think they're really just like lying? They're like, well, I just don't feel like making... Do you think it's that specific person? Or if they just they just don't want to f*** with the McCafe machine? <laughs> I like, 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 this machine sucks. I hate using it. Tell everybody it's down. Or if it's like, oh, sh here comes Todd again. F*** Todd. You're not getting any coffee today, you piece of <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, it's Todd. Just break the machine. It's something, maybe they're not lying. Maybe they actually intentionally break the machine every time they see you coming or they hear so, the lack of muffler on your car in the drive through Here comes Todd. He's got bubble gum all over his bumper. You know, he, like, he's got a lint roller for some reason. We know he's going to be <laughs> creepy and like watch other people in this place. He's like, Todd, doing this. get out of here. Yeah, uh, I've never seen that. I, I don't go to McDonald's often. Uh, of course, I have a cafe right now, but... Um, but I've never known of their McCafe machine to be down. The ice cream machine is always down. It's like, you've got a McFlurry on the menu, but you like, it's like the four hours a day that you sell them. I don't know what to hell you're making money on the machine. It's always broken. <laughs> you want a McFlurry? Take your McAss to McDairy Queen and get a blizzard. It's yeah. better anyway. Oh yeah. This, this person, I believe we may have answered a per question for this person before. Okay. What happens if I poop in the airport and hide it in a briefcase? Well, <laughs> Claire Danes is going to show up because Homeland Security is getting involved, and that and, and that's real. Yeah, she's really part of. I don't. I've never watched that show. <laughs> I have no show, clue what show. Homeland. Was, I've never heard of it. Uh, t yeah, TSA is going to be yeah. there. You're you're. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of problems. You, you know, you are. They're gonna. They're gonna. Secondly, they're gonna intentionally lose the, your luggage if they're still pooping. If they let you get on the plane after that, they're gonna send your luggage well now, to. Are they talking about? Uh, it, now the question is: Is they poop, are they pooping in their own luggage or somebody oh. else's luggage? Because if somebody else's is like a goof, I mean, I think I think you're technically engaging in chemical warfare at that yeah. point. So you're Some you're going of... down. Um, they're gonna be. You got Electrodes criminal. on your nipples and your testicles if you're yeah. a man. You get, you get criminal and civil charges coming to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's. If, it's going to be federal. Yeah, the FAA yeah, is going to be involved. Homeland Security, I mean, TSA, this is terrorism. Or, yeah, uh, FEMA might have to get involved depending on Fe like how toxic your your ass dump is. Yep, it's 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 real. It's a real mess. Don't don't in a briefcase. You're going to be on CNN or a bitch. suitcase or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they said a briefcase specifically. In a briefcase, okay. Maybe they meant suitcase. Oh, well, a briefcase is just like a little suitcase that you can't put much clothing in. Maybe it's only for briefs. Maybe they just got skid marks and they're worried. 
Because they don't understand what a briefcase is. They think a briefcase is where you carry your briefs This is just around. for my underwear. Okay. That's all I put in here. <laughs> but I got skid marks in it. Am I going to be okay? They're going to, I mean, they're going to laugh at you, but I think they'll let you get on the plane if you just yeah. got some marks in your, in your drawers. Yeah, you'll be okay, but you won't. A lot of people have bowel problems. <laughs> you talk to people that have worked in like the cleaning of hotels, especially hotels where a lot of celebrities stay. They're just, the number of celebrities that their beds is apparently just <laughs> phenomenal and shocking all right uh, now i have something to look up <laughs> we can tell you stuff future about- episode how I- <laughs> celebrities who <laughs> the bed it's like we can tell you stuff about chris pratt um how long will you be remembered after you die about five minutes <laughs> about 15 20 minutes i think yeah about well about six months like at a low level 15 minutes for like good you won't be remembered at all because if you're asking, <laughs> you're going to be pretty, pretty... I think if you're asking, it's not going to be very long for you. Yeah. Uh, who watches over you while you sleep? My name is Reggie. She, you ruined the bit. <laughs> what? I was going to like pretend the audio had cut out. Because I was just like answering. <laughs> I'm, I, I think I understand this question, okay. what it means, but there's definitely some misspellings and interesting word choices. Uh, and I think what they're trying to say is Vaseline, but can I use Vaseline to shake my penis? Is it safe or not? Is there any other way? You want to jerk off and yes, go ahead. It's fine. Vaseline's no problem. Yeah. It's or probably not the best option, but just, just drop, be a man and dry hand it. Dry. Yeah. Or just go to the grocery store and buy some astro lube no just i mean it's, it's it doesn't cost much and they got some that warms up too that's it's it's it just get it man it's not like vaseline is like gonna be too it's not gonna i don't think vaseline's gonna work well i've never tried vaseline thing. it's petroleum jelly yeah but it's literally like the gooey. same as lube no lube is slippery vaseline's not slippery yes, vaseline is. is sticky and dense i don't know what vaseline you've been with you the, all the, life. The, I don't f- with it. That's the, the thing. <laughs> See, that's right. That's right. I don't that's f- with it. That's your problem. A lot of kids will put it on toast and eat it. Why? Because it helps their bowels. Let's put that on Yahoo Answers. <laughs> Is it okay to put to- Vaseline on toast and eat it? Is it, again masturbation? Is it true that if you masturbate too much, you can't have kids? Everything's wrong with that question. If you uh, masturbate, I'm really good at putting a worm on a hook. <laughs> really good at it. And now I can't have children because I masturbated way too much in my life. I think, I think, I don't think this is true, but it, just in case it is, you should masturbate a lot just to see. Okay, last question. That's good. Cause... I, I think this is a really important question and we're the okay. ones to answer this. Okay. How do you tell a woman you're well endowed when you first meet her without creeping her out? Hmm. I'm going to let you think about that one because I got, I think I've got an answer. You know, you go ahead. I, I don't know without creeping her out because I mean like the obvious thing would just be to be like, yo girl, huge dong right here. I feel like the, uh, because I want to help the person asking this question. They call me dong slayer. And he's saying, how do you tell slay dong? <laughs> How do you tell a woman you're well with endowed? With my larger dog. How do you tell a woman you're well endowed when you first you meet don't. her without creeping her out? First off, if you're asking the question, I don't think you're that well endowed. So maybe keep it to your f-ing self before you yeah, disappoint it, you someone just, down the line. You just don't. <laughs> when you first meet them? I, I mean, just, that's seriously like walking up to a chick and be like, hey girl, you're kind of hot. I've got a huge f-ing. You want to go f-? Like, I try not to that's like gonna advertise. That's going to creep anybody out. There's a reason why I wear baggy pants. Because I'm trying not to f-ing advertise is that right you try not to advertise okay <laughs> i keep it to myself i keep it to myself don't yeah just, just don't, don't. don't don't tell her eventually if you get the opportunity and she's cool with it you can show her <laughs> uh except you probably don't because you're not yeah you're not because Sorry. i know because you f-ing asked yahoo at, at anything like I'm gonna put this out on the internet, dog. I'm gonna put the. This is the mindset. It's like, man, the ladies are gonna come flocking because I'm gonna ask on Yahoo Answers how you tell oh, somebody yeah. you've got a giant without you know creeping them out. 
then they're going to see it and they're going to be like, oh my God, I need that giant <laughs> And then you're going to get email after email. It's not going to work out that way. Yeah. Your plan is flawed they're not on coming. so many levels. Thanks for watching. They're not. No. Nah, small peener. Teeny weeny peeny. Machiney. A teeny weeny. Yeah. Hey boy! Your mama said click them links! <laughs>